Hey folks, it's Night Raven 78 here with uh, Digger Dog 49 and uh, Fossil Hunter 51 also. And we're looking at um, Hot Wheels today. I mean, he doesn't dig. He also goes and hunts in the stores for uh, for different goodies. Um, over the years, uh, he's collected quite a bit of Hot Wheels, um, various um, cars, and some of his favorite ones are it's shown here. Which one is is one of your favorite ones you got so far in your collection? Well, I enjoy the Corvettes. Uh, that's one of the earliest Corvettes. Uh, it actually came out as a red line. I do not have the red line. Uh, the red line was uh, around 1975 or 1976. That one came out like a year later, I believe. Wow. Uh, it's in mint condition. Then I have down here at the bottom. Um, this pickup was um, called a Hightailer, uh, the orange pickup, and it's... Um, from the mid 1970s, I believe, again around 1975. Um, real good I, condition, huh? Yes, most of the Hot Wheels that I have are all mint condition. Uh, this Corvette, again, was probably a late 1970s, uh, maybe early 80s. I really don't know the exact uh, years of those two. I have up here um, some other older cars that came out as giveaways for. Uh, the Shell service stations, I believe, uh, in 1972, uh, up here, uh, Night Raven. Mm -hmm. Those uh, are approximately three quarters of an inch long. They came out, like I said, as a giveaway. There was uh, I'm missing about four or five of them that I still haven't been able to obtain yet. But uh, I managed to find these for like a dollar a piece. And uh, these over here also. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Wow. Uh, Digger Dog, what do you, what do you call those? Uh, those are called Zowies. Zowies, huh? Yes. I'm going to move over here, folks, to some of these other ones in the single cases and just kind of browse okay. right through them. This orange Mustang was a uh, 1998 first edition, uh, but it was a very short run in that color of orange. Uh, this uh, 1949 Mercury was a New York Toy Fair giveaway. Hmm. Uh, I don't. That was around 1992 or so. I don't. That blue one's pretty cool looking. Pretty yes, that's uh, yes, and that one's uh, mid 1970s. Again, that one came out as a uh, red line uh, with a red line wheel and also the basic wheel. I have the basic wheel that came mint. I took it out of the package and it was mint. And so on. The uh, motorcycles. Um, below are called rumblers and they came out around 1972 well they have like a little wheel at the bottom there yeah they're they're rubber the rubber tires rubber wheels uh they should have riders uh that are they come off separately from the motorcycles i'm missing the rider for um the um first one this red one uh, but the other two have theirs hey digger don't okay let's this, look at uh, this one over here yeah this uh cobra that's yes. really neat, that real That's red cobra. Real you, cool. uh, where'd you find that one? That one I picked up uh, at a uh, shop in Bakersfield, California. I paid very little for that one. That was probably a, a buck or two. And that one, again, was mint condition and uh, very old. And then there was a friend of ours that uh, was uh, selling Hot Wheels. They were big collectors, and they had these two that they got from a, a state auction. Uh, these are called AOKs. AOKs, huh? Yes. Those are a couple of my favorite. I just happen to like the older cars. And there's a red line um, a 31 Doozy. Uh, that would be a 1931 Duesenberg. Wow. That is a doozy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. There's the bug. That's a, that's a newer newer one. Here's a quite a bit over here. Oh, man. You've got some yeah. really nice ones over there. Yeah, most of those Gonna cars browse through here. would be considered uh, all mint. Uh, the older ones would be... Most of them would be mint to near mint. Um, they're from about 1970, 1969 to I would say 1995. That one at the top there looks like a McDonald's. That uh, yes, that one. That one, one was a giveaway. Yeah, at McDonald's. This one right here. Yeah. Check, yeah, check that. That one. That's yeah. Correct. The orange rims yeah, and everything. Really cool. And the one right to the left of it was a uh, uh, one from the 1970s. That was. Uh, Thor. They had a uh, huh. comic book character, DC Comics, I think it was. And I have a few red lines in there that are pretty nice. 
Yeah, I like these right here. My favorite are the red lines, and I just, I just appreciate that that color they have. They're they're simple. There's no uh, graphics on them. They've got that metal flake to them with that red rim, and you know they've they've only made them so many colors, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, just those so are those typical white and that green and blue. That's probably one of my favorite ones. I like and there, there's a couple of them in there that are actually called high rakers. They're like this, where's that at? This, this is Woody. Oh, they're, they're little. They sit up in the back. Huh? Yes, they sit up in the back. But there's a like look at a that, little, folks. There's like a little lever that you can push the tires or the wheels up, and so they sit closer. But if you want them to have that high rake, uh, that was very popular in the early hmm. uh, 50s and 60s, and uh, then here's another one right here that's considered a high raker. Yeah, I, that is neat. I mean, I've I've have a collection of Hot Wheels too, and then. I haven't seen some of the ones you, well, yeah, you have here. Yeah, nice collection. I've, I've, I've been very collecting, nice, uh, very nice. Folks. I've been collecting the Hot Wheels since 1998. Hey, I that looks like one of my Matchbox up there, huh? Probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes I have actually, uh, quite a bit of Matchbox in the original Matchbox itself from that, the 70s. That one there should be look real familiar since it did belong to you at one time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Took over, huh? Yeah. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching.